Hi everyone, welcome to Father the Mountain. I am Amanda and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own stevia powder from the plant. It's very easy and very satisfying to make. Hope you enjoy. This is my stevia plant. I bought it this year because I wanted to experiment making my own sweetener. Also to see how effective it is compared to sugar. Make sure to watch till the end to see my comparison. My plant has been through a lot. It has gone through a tough pest infestation, also a wasp nest underneath, so I decided to cut the majority of the aerial part of the plant so it can regrow bigger and stronger. The first step of the process of making your own stevia powder is to collect the leaves. I'm collecting them in small batches so that I don't stress the plant. Stevia is a perennial plant, so you can almost always harvest its leaves. The optimal time though is before flowers form. There is some sweetness throughout the entire stevia plant, but the leaves are much more sweeter, so the stem is typically discarded. Then you will want to dry your leaves however you prefer. I'm using this cute small wooden house we use as a shed to dry my stevia leaves, given that here in Italy it's summer and it's very hot. I'm leaving everything for a few days, making sure to move around and turn the leaves so they can dry evenly. Other methods you can use to dry the leaves are a dryer, if you have it at home, you will benefit from the short time it takes to dry. You can also dry the leaves by tying and bundling the stems together, hanging them in a cool, dark place until the leaves dry. Or you can dry it in the sun. After all it's dried, I'm transferring everything into a container. Look who showed up for the video. Next step is to crush the stevia, either with your hands, using a mortar, or in this case I'm using a blender to make a fine powder. Here, as you can see, I was having a bit of a hard time putting the leaves into the blender. Look at the color of this powder. It's a bright and rich green, so delicious. It's healthy, tasty, all natural, and mostly it's made from your own garden. Today I'm using stevia powder to make a refreshing and sweet lemonade. Lemon basil from my garden will add the perfect flavor to my lemonade. You will also need half a lemon to squeeze in a jug.
boil the water and put the desired amount of stevia powder. Let everything infuse for about 10 to 15 minutes. Keep it in the fridge so you can savor during a hot summer day. Here you can see I'm enjoying this sunset with my lemonade. Store your stevia powder into the container of your choice. Here I'm using a small washed bottle that we used for keeping spices. As you can see without a funnel, it's a bit tricky to fill up that small bottle without making a big mess. I'm also trying to save it as much as I can. Let's end this video by comparing stevia and sugar to have a clear idea of what we want to use in our daily life. Thank you.